Welcome to the newest series from Sailing Doodles. This is Boat Tour Tuesday, where we show you the boats that we come across in our travels and introduce you to the cruisers that sail them. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please give us a like and a comment down below and we'll keep this series going. Most avid sailors know the name Laura Decker. She is the youngest person ever to single-handedly sail around the globe. She truly is an inspiration and we were lucky enough to come across her boat on our travels. So we happen to be here in uh, Fiji we ran into Hartmut. Hi there. A uh, nice German fellow and he's sailing on, uh, it's Gu Guppy. 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 Guppy is a very famous boat. You might know this boat. How would you know this boat? Because it was sailed by Laura Decker, the youngest girl ever, youngest person ever to solo circumnavigate the world, the globe, all by herself. She left Holland when she was 14 and she finished her circumnavigation when she was 16 in a few months. It's impressive. So, so two years basically. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're hauling through this. We're doing half the year in like 10 months and there's a crew of us doing this. I couldn't imagine doing that single-handed on a boat amazing. this size. I mean, it's absolutely amazing what she did. Yeah. And I really, really admire her when I'm at the helm at night doing my solo shift. It's just, you know, I'm thinking what would she have gone right. through and all that. And she doesn't get relieved. She's all right. there. Yeah. She's nonstop. And she, um, when she had problems with the auto helm, she had to single steer, uh, steer hand steer for quite a few days or weeks. I'm not sure how long uh, it was exactly. But I couldn't do that. That yeah, was, it's quite some time. We, we actually, there's quite a few comments. Like, cause I, I did a, I did a single handed like 800 miles once and got a lot of bad comments. like, Oh, a 14 year old girl do it. And you're complaining about it. No, it's really hard. It really is. It is hard. It's hard. And what she achieved is absolutely amazing. It is. And uh, that's something we all can learn something from it and get inspired by. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what is the boat? It's a Juno. It's a, a Juno Gen Fist, 30 feet extended. Okay. So it's technically uh, 41 feet. Okay. That we've got they just added the swim platform there, basically. Yeah, it was it was um, extended in the factory, so it okay. wasn't an aftermarket extension. Okay, okay, they did that. Okay. Right. Built in 1978. 1970. So this boat is like three times older than she is. Yeah, I guess if you do the maths right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so 78. I'm I'm 40, and I was born in 77. So yeah, it's at least two times, yeah. two and a half times. That's pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice boat. It handles well. It's a catch. It's a, it's a cutter catch. And with any type of sail configuration, it is just so well balanced. It's absolutely amazing. It's a joy to sail it. And we're going to be sailing her all the way to Hawaii. We are right now in Fiji. We took it, picked it up in Wangare, New Zealand. She gifted it to our nonprofit called Life Sail Marina Del Rey, and we are very, very grateful for it. So Life Sail Marina Del Rey, right. who I'll show the link to here, should be popping up right now. So basically, she donated this. Yes. It's a nonprofit. And what, do they, what does Life Sail do? Life Sail has character building programs for at risk youth and underprivileged children, inner city children for the Los Angeles area. We are based out of Marina Del Rey. Mm -hmm. And we have got boat building programs for building boats in schools, building Optimus in the school with the children. Then they get to learn to sail on the Optimus. And when they know how to sail on the Optimus, they can teach other small children right, there you go. how to sail it. And it's uh, sailing. You have sailed for quite some time. I am sure you can imagine what sailing can do to a character to sure a person. absolutely it changes you for sure it changes you tremendously it really does so now he's gonna take us on a tour of the inside I'm looking forward to seeing this how uh, I got two and a half year or two year circumnavigation solo I'd like to see how she did it all right so go ahead so it's actually a fairly roomy cockpit um, for being only 40 feet long it is very very 30 Seven originally, I guess. So 38 extended to no okay. uh, fist, yeah, okay. extended to 41 feet, and it's a uh, very very roomy. And we have got everything we need to go sailing. We have got um, two winches on the port side, uh, two winches on the starboard side for the uh, jib and the stay sail. Mm -hmm. uh, the main sheet is right here on a traveler, which we move to the side so that we can easily access the uh, companion way and go into the salon. Okay. The Bimini is awesome and it also connects right here to the Dodger with an additional extension with a zipper which while we're sailing we don't really have it up because we want to have the, uh, the view however once you're in the marina once you get to your destination it's nice to actually put it up we just haven't done it because we want to see the sunset so come on down to the main salon and enjoy and look at what uh, Capi looks like on the inside isn't this awesome my first boat was a 37 foot CNC and honestly I want to say it's very similar. 
um, size wise. Uh, I think we had maybe a little bit more of a main salon part, and, but the quarter berth and the kitchen is all about the same size. But it's kind of compact, but for just one or two people, it'd be great. One thing you have to realize when you really sail across the big ocean with all the waves, the narrower the boat is, the easier it is for you to actually hold on in heavy waves. And, and so you know this from experience. Uh, I know <laughs> that from experience, absolutely. What happened to you here? Well, I was right here in the galley preparing food for, for the crew that was on the, on the boat. So right here's the galley, here's our stove, two burners with, uh, with an oven down below. Here's our sink. And I was just about to turn around to let the crew know there's food coming and a wave picked me up and I basically flew all the way into your direction. And it was not fun. So what, uh, what, 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 were the, uh, what was the outcome of that? I had, uh, still have a broken uh, rib. Bro rib number seven broke, ouch. I, those, uh, if you've ever broken a rib, you know how painful that can be. So I, I have sympathy for you there. And now time for a little bit of a tour of the inside. This is the aft quarter berth, the dining salon table, and forward to the V-berth and head. The galley has a gimbaled stove and a nice size icebox. The chart table really has a good amount of instrumentation. One thing I like about this boat that my old CNC had that the 50 Beneteau I'm on now doesn't have, and a lot of other boats I've been on don't have, is that the chart table and everything has all, has repeaters for either the radar or the instruments and radios and all that. So she could be sleeping down here, and this is where she did most of her sleeping here in the little core berth, which is where I, I did most of mine. And that you could instantly, if something goes wrong, you're popping up, you, your situational awareness is right there and you know what's going on. So I think that's really good, really good idea to do that, is, is, is to be able to like navigate from your bedroom. Under the stairs is the motor. A little about Hartmut, he's a life and business coach and a writer. I contributed to this one, Chart Your Greatness, and my chapter is called Chart Your Post to Success, which is secret number 10, charting your course to success in All business, right. leadership and life. Reach your greatness. All right. This is the book that Laura Decker wrote, One Girl, One Dream. If you haven't picked it up, search for it online and get it. Thank you, Heart Move, for showing me this. It's, a, it's definitely a piece of history. And it's, uh, I mean, the youngest person, not only a girl, the youngest person to sail around the world. The youngest good person to sail around the world and it's gonna be a symbol to think about what's possible. Don't take no for an answer. Google her, I mean, follow her story, what she went through back in 2010, 2012. It's absolutely amazing right. and it's inspirational. Yeah, she, she had a lot of struggles just to even be able to legally go out on the water and do this. Yeah. And then, that I mean, that was a struggle and then to actually go out and do it. I mean, that's another. Yeah, and, so. and, and successfully complete it. Yeah. So, so we will link to uh, Laura Decker, uh, her, her information, and then to Life uh, LifeSale. LifeSale.org. Yeah. And the hashtag Get Guppy. Get Guppy. Okay, that's the name of the boat. Guppy. So. Guppy is the name of the boat. All right. Absolutely. Hey, and we'll put his uh, Instagram in the show notes too. So. All right. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great to see you. Yeah, absolutely. It really was a treat to be able to see this piece of history, and I hope she's an inspiration for everyone to get out there and follow their dreams. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Check out sailingdoodles.com to find out how you can help.